what's up i'm rachel star um antipsychotics so it's kind of funny i haven't been on antipsychotics in a couple years um basically uh i am on um very very high dosage of antidepressants to keep me from smashing down but i haven't been on antipsychotics in a while and um i'm having to go through some new mental troubles and basically this doctor that i was seeing the specialist doctor um wanted to put me on antipsychotics and it was funny because i'm like listening to her and then like i'm like oh okay and i get home and i'm like looking up this medication and pretty much i want to know what i'm getting into um because antipsychotics those of you who are on them or have or have you know if you're on them you know they're no joke this isn't just like sorry the bird taking a, um you know normal medication this is really strong and it really can alter you and 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 the side effects a lot of the times are, are way worse than what you're going through. So I'm looking at the side effects and, you know, the side effects of this certain one, which I'm not going to say because I don't want, you know, to put it down because I haven't been on it yet or anything. Um, you know, it's like, can cause, <laughs> can cause hallucinations, can cause like, um, per can cause patient to hear voices that aren't there and patient cannot, you know, will have weird beliefs. And I'm like, this sounds like schizophrenia. <laughs> This drug to teach, I mean to, to teach, to um, help with schizophrenia sounds like it's side effects or schizophrenia. And I'm just kind of like reading, there was like three pages of like all these really, really horrible things. And I'm just like, dude. And I had this whole nervous breakdown. Like I, I freaked out. Um, I just absolutely freaked out after meeting with this doctor. And I just, just the thought of having to go back down that road um, it, it just freaked me. Um, I was just like, I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I was like texting one of my friends and I was just like, look, I, I'm freaking out over this stuff. I don't know if I can go back down that road because it was so hard for me to, to go through it the first time and then to think that, you know, it's all going to happen again. And, and just, you know, if you're on, on an antipsychotic, it takes like a few weeks to get into your system and then they have to start playing with the dosage. So this isn't like, oh, you know, you'll take it and a week later you'll be fine. It's like, no, this is, you know, going to be, a, you know, multiple months of figuring out doses, dosages. And I just, I just freaked, just complete nervous breakdown. Um, I just, I couldn't think straight. And I was able to calm down. Um, and then it was funny because I then had another one today because just something else had come up about it and I just started freaking out again and I'm like shaking, I'm dropping things and just thought of like going back on them terrifies me. As far as what I'm going to do, I don't know yet. We, there's a whole bunch of different options on the table. That is um, just one they're really strongly suggesting. Point with it all. Um, getting help is freaking scary. And a lot of people see like, you know, getting help as being a sign of weakness. Getting help is like freaking brave, okay? What's weak is when you know you have a problem and you ignore it and you just keep it going on. That's weak and it's stupid, okay? I definitely learned that in my life, like watching especially other people that have like a problem, they know they have a problem, and you all obviously have people in your life like this, and they acknowledge their problem and they do nothing about it. You're just like, so you're just going to keep screwing this all up. Um, and I don't care what the problem is, whether it's something small, whether it's something big. Um, it's just, weakness is not changing. Okay? It's easy not to change. Alright? What is fucking brave is when you have a problem and you're like, hey, I need help with this. I need to get this thing under control. Because that's not going to be easy. Whatever you have to go through to take care of this problem is not going to be easy. The easy thing is doing nothing. Just slowly, continually to slide down. The hard thing is stopping and clawing your way up. So look, if you're out there and you're like, you know, I get people message me a lot like they're scared to, you know, go to a mental hospital. They're scared to, to talk to the doctors and stuff. No. Alright? It sucks. And yes, it's scary. And it's okay to be scared, all right? But it's also really, really brave. And the fact that you're either, I mean, you're just now starting to entertain that idea while it's frightening and stuff, that is a big step. Keep moving towards those steps. Figure out what it is you need to do to get to where you want to be. To get whatever your problem is, whether we're talking mental health or something else, under control. To the point where you can dominate it, all right? 
And anyone who looks down on you for that kind of stuff, stupid. They're worthless. There's nothing weak about change and being brave enough to change. So, for all of you out there, we get to find new ways to deal with our issues and whatnot. Yeah, I know it's scary. Keep pushing. I'm Rachel Starr, and me and my little jerk chicken, there he is, are out. <laughs>